be on, bro. Yeah, be on. All right, shall I want back, y'all? You know what I'm saying? We were first. We're giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushak, by Shem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and salutations to brothers out there pushing this truth. All right, brothers, uh, today's lesson is going to be on uh, just being considered, you know? And uh, the title of the lesson is uh, Stop Being Inconsidered, you know? And that's uh, that's major when it's when it's when you're dealing with the brother, when you're dealing with the brothers, you know. When you're dealing with brothers, you gotta be considerate at all levels, man. Not just on some things, not on some things where you feel like, oh, uh, you know, on all things, man. You gotta be considerate to the brotherhood, man. Cause you, cause you imagine if Yahweh Shah wasn't considerate, we wouldn't be here, man. All right, we wouldn't be here. Why are we in this truth, man? Because Yahweh Shah was considered. The Heavenly Father was considered, man. You know, and that's a must, man. We gotta have. You say you calling you calling yourself a man of the Lord, but you're inconsiderate of your brothers, man. You inconsiderate on the littlest shit at that, that uh, definition of inconsiderate. This is the definition of inconsiderate. This is Matter of fact, let me turn this because I thought you know. Go ahead, bro. It says, inconsiderate, thoughtlessly causing hurt or inconvenience to others. Inconvenience to others. You could be an inconvenience, man, by being inconsiderate, man. You know what I'm saying? By incon uh, being uh, inconsiderate, you know? Mm -hmm. That's not thinking about others' feelings, not thinking about others. You're just thinking about yourself all the time, man. You caught up in your emotions, man. You know? And that's the man that's not totally grounded in the truth. You know? I don't care how much, how many scriptures you know, how much you know, what breakdowns you know. You could be ahead of a camp. You could be the lowest man of the camp. You know what I'm saying? You could be a man holding up a sign. You gotta have consideration, man. You know? Like I said, if Yahweh Shah was, an inc was inconsiderate, we wouldn't be here, man. We wouldn't be here, okay? So we must be considerate about your brother, man. If a brother's going through something, you don't just look at that brother and, and, and just pass him up and not say nothing towards that brother. That brother could need you, man. He could really need you at that time. You ain't said nothing to that brother, man. You ain't said nothing to build him up. You ain't said nothing to see what's wrong with him or nothing. You just looked at him and you just passed him up, man. And the Lord looks at that, man. You know, the Lord sees that. He sees everything, man. You know, we supposed to, we supposed, now that we in the truth, man, you supposed to leave that old man. That's some shit you'll do when, when you was in the world. You know, you'll be inconsiderate about another motherfucker. You know, go out to eat. You see he ain't got no food and shit. You just eat right in front of him. Don't ask him for nothing and shit. You know, knowing you got the money. You see your brother ain't got, he got some busted up ass kicks and shit. You over here with some fly ass J's on and shit. You ain't even offered him nothing, man. You over there got a house full of shoes, man. You know what I'm saying? You'll let your brother walk all busted up and bummy and shit while you all fresh and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That ain't the way to be. That's inconsiderate, that's selfish, that's thinking of yourself, man. And the Lord don't like that shit, man. You know, you got to be considerate of another brother, man. You know, and you're not just because you treat one brother good because that might be your favorite brother. You know what I'm saying? You must ain't, you ain't supposed to be no partiality, man. You must be considerate just like you are to your favorite, the favorite brother in the camp that you like, that you close to. You must have that same consideration that you put towards that brother, towards every other brother, man. Yahweh Shai didn't show us that, man. He didn't show, he didn't show uh, us how to be uh, just, I'ma just treat some brothers brotherly, the, the brothers that I'm close to, you know? Yahweh Shai didn't show us that, man. And we ain't supposed to be like that, man. That's not cool at all, man. And if you acting like that and that spirit is in you, man, you better repent. Because if you don't, the Lord going to take your ass out, man. Straight up. Clock is coming up, man. Which is one of the holiest days of the 
of the of the year, man. And right before the Basak, niggas fall out, man. Okay? Niggas fall out. Because there's something in them that ain't right, man. Like I said, you could be the best of everything, man. But you you off by one little bit, man. You know? You ain't got something. You, man, hey, man. Nice. And put together, put together by the best of the best. But if you ain't got that oil in it, man, and you try to start that motherfucker, guess what's gonna happen to that engine, man? It's gonna break the fuck down. Okay? So we gotta be well put together, man. Your boat's gotta be screwed on right, man. Okay? Your oil gotta be in there. Everything's gotta be in there, man. The radiate, the radiate, uh, the uh, the fluid, radiator fluid gotta be in there, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything's gotta be working smoothly, man. Okay, I got it. Go ahead, bro. This uh, Sirach six and seventeen. It says, "Who so fear of the Lord shall direct his friendship aright? For as he is, so shall his neighbor be also." Right. You gotta go ahead, read it again one more time, bro. Yeah, but say, "Who so fear of the Lord?" Should direct his friendship aright. Should direct his friendship aright, man. You gonna know that? Oh, that's a brother. Because the way he treat other brothers and the way he treats you, man. The way he treat himself, man. You know, the way he treat himself, man. You know, because a brother ain't right if he treating other brothers all fucked up. He ain't treating himself right, man. Because the Lord see that shit. If you ain't treating another brother right, you ain't treating yourself right, man. Because eventually your ass gonna get fucked up. You know? You know? There's a lot of cats that think the brotherhood is a game, man. It ain't a fucking game, man. Alright? You can mess a brother up with the shit that you do, man. You know? You put to show all brother, all brothers, not some brothers. You put to show all brothers the brotherly love, man. I don't care if a shit, I don't give a shit if it's their first day in, man. They all, all, all brothers supposed to have that brotherly love that show, you supposed to show them that, you know, that you got that, that love towards that brother, man. Because we all in the body of Yahweh Bashim Shah. We all believing in the same thing, man. In the same thing, man. I remember feeling like shit when I was in the world, man. Feeling like I didn't have nobody to talk to. Like I was put in the back burner, man. Like people was looking at me like I wasn't shit, man. You know? I hate to come in the truth. And then, well, well, it's a good thing to be in the truth. I'm not saying, I'm saying, I hate to come in the truth and you have a brother that treats you like that, man. You know? You have a brother that treats you like shit the same as he was treating motherfuckers in the world and shit, man. That ain't fucking cool, man. You know? That's some nigga shit and the Lord weed needs fucking weasels out of the camps, man. You know? I'm talking to myself first. First, man. You know? Here we going to camp right now, man. We on our way to camp to do the work. To do the Lord's work. Not our own work. Ain't about us, man. You know? It ain't, it, it's about Yahweh by Shim Yahushai. It's about waking elect up. Okay? It's about letting. It's about a lot of stuff, man. You know? I got another one. Go ahead, bro. This uh, Proverbs 17 and 17 says, A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Hey. Hey, a friend love at all, at all times, man. All time, not sometime, man. You can't wake up and you feeling bad and shit. You know what I'm saying? You feeling you own one and shit, right? Somebody did some hurt to you, a nigga in the world did some hurt to you. Now you taking it out on every brother, man. Now you taking it out on every brother. Or you might be taking it out on just some brothers, man. You know? But that favorite brother that you always cool with, you showing him the best of love, man. You showing him the best of love and shit, man. You know? You supposed to love all the time, man. Yahweh Shai, he showed 
He's still loving us, man. He's showing his love. You and the truth, man, he showed the love, man. Your ass is alive. Yahweh Shah showed his love, man. He laid down his life for all of Israel, man. Okay? That's how he showed his love. That's how you show your love uh, towards the bread. You let it, if you lay down your life, Yahweh Shah laid down his life, man. You know? No greater love, man. Lay down your life for your brother, and that's what Yahweh Shai did. He did. He laid down his life for us, man. And then you got some weasel ass niggas in the camps, man. <clears throat> Don't know how to uh, give you that love, man, that Yahweh Shai gave us, man. The fuck wrong with you, man? You know? What the hell have you been reading, man? What are you doing at the house, man? You know? When you read, do you get into it, man? Do you actually, uh, in hell, what you reading, man? You supposed to inhale it. You supposed to, it's supposed to be in your skin, in, in every part of your body, man. Your spirit, man. It's supposed to be embedded in you. You ain't, you shouldn't want it to come out, man. You know? The brotherhood is very important. I don't take the brotherhood lightly, not one fucking bit, man. And don't think that a brother ain't spiritual enough to show, to see that a, a, a nigga, to see them nigga away. Man. Any little thing will fuck with me, but you got some cats, they don't even fucking like I was saying, like you did something to him and shit, man. And here it is, you did it. And you gotta play the you gotta play the bigger person. You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, you gotta humble your spirit and pray to Yahweh Bashim Shai that Yahweh Bashim Shai fix everything between you and his brother. Cause you don't know what the fuck is going on, man. You'll talk to his brother here and tell you, nah, ain't nothing going on. It's good. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? But inside, he lying like a motherfucker, man. Knowing there's something wrong. He won't even fucking tell you, man. You supposed to go to that brother and let that brother know what the fuck is going on, man. You know? Like I said, the, the brotherhood is very important, man. It's very important. You got cats out there that's playing with brothers, man. You got cats out there that don't even know how to salute you right, man. You know? Don't even know how to give you the salute. They ain't seen you in a whole week. And they give you a weak-ass, watered-down-ass salute, man. You know? That, and that's suspect, too. You know? When you got a cat, they never look you in your fucking eye, man. Cause something wrong with them, man. You got cats that don't never go into brotherhoods, scripts. Because they ain't right. Not saying that, be, not saying if you don't do shows on, on the brother, you ain't right. I'm just saying. You got some cats that, they, they'll stay away from it, man. Because you know you ain't right, you ain't doing, you ain't doing what you're supposed to do. You ain't dealing how you're supposed to be dealing with brothers, man. You know? And that shit pisses you off, man. It, you know, especially when you see somebody, man. If I see some shit like that, man, I'm checking the motherfucker, man, straight up, man. You know, cause it ain't no, ain't supposed to be no, ain't supposed to be no none of that going on. That's 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 that worldly shit, man. That's that shit in the world you was dealing with, man. Now when you in the truth, it's supposed to, you supposed to. You supposed to show the utmost respect towards a brother, man. That's one that we going to we going to war right now, man. We, we we about to go to war. These brothers supposed to be able to trust me and have faith in me that I'm a brother, man. Then I'ma have they back. I'm not supposed to be thinking like, damn, man. I'm a, you know, what's up with this cat, man? He over there tripping and shit, man. Being selfish and shit, thinking about himself, ain't thinking about other brothers, always thinking about himself, complaining and shit, man. You know? That weak ass mama boy spirit, man. That's because you was raised around your fucking mother, your grandmother, your aunties, all goddamn day, and you never came out of that. It's good to say, girl, up that Lawrence like a man. You know? You you had a script, bro? Yeah. This is uh, 1 John chapter 3, verse 1 to 14. It 
says, we pass from death into life. Because you ain't right. Fucking, you know, low buzz. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to be fall up. You know? That nigga shit, man. He's a pure fucking nigga. The Lord gonna take your ass out, man. You think a lot like the way you deal with, man. The Lord ain't playing with that shit, man. You know? The Lord is not playing. Y'all was shy and y'all was shy and showed us how to do it, man. And it's a, and wait, if it's like, fuck you scared? The fuck you scared for, man? You know? You should be a, hey, man, we men. I don't give a fuck who it is, man. You know? Go to your brother, let your brother know what the fuck the deal is, man. How in the hell your brother gonna know that you, he offended you? You know? Oh, he made a diss, he made a, he made, he don't even know what the hell going on, but you over there mad and look, giving them dirty looks and shit, man. Talking, talking about them to other brothers and shit. That ain't cool, man. That's not cool, man. At all, man. Not at all. Your brother don't know what the fuck is going on. You over there talking about them and shit, man. Talking about them. But did you go to that brother and let him know what the hell the deal was? No, you didn't. You know? And that you ain't right. But you pointing the finger and shit. You pointing the finger, but you ain't right, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. It says, whoso hateth his brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Right, man. You know? The Lord ain't, at the end of the day, man, the Lord ain't gonna deliver you, man. You, 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 was, you, just, you just a nigga, man. At the end of the day, you just dead man walk, you just a nigga, and you never was a brother. You never was a brother, man. You know? You better fight that shit, man. You better fight that niggerism that's in you, man. That's a fucking nigga, uh, a symptoms of a nigga, man. That's a disease. It's called a nigga, okay? You better fight that fucking nigga shit, man. That's a disease, man. You know what the antidote is? The antidote is the truth, man. Prayer, fasting, okay? I'm talking to your brother, what's going on, all right? You know, it's coming back to the word, man. And, for, and trying to do the best that you can. We all slip, man. I ain't sitting here and saying I'm just a perfect ass motherfucker on the planet. And I don't, you know, I don't do nothing. You know? Yeah. If if I offended somebody, I would expect for that brother to come to me like a man and let me know, hey brother, I felt like you did this and that. And you know, at the end of the day, we squashed it. We came together like brothers, man. And, and it's all love, man. That's all I want, man. One of the reasons why I want to get so, I, so I, one of the reasons why I want to get to the kingdom so bad, and so I ain't gotta deal with this shit with the brotherhood, man. Sometimes I sit on my bed and I fucking just tear up, man. Just tear up, man. Cause you gotta fight. You fighting and fighting and fighting even in the brotherhood, man. You fighting even a brother when you shouldn't be fighting in the brotherhood, man. That shit should be out of there, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. It says, Hereby perceive we the love of the Most High, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Right. That's plain, man. That's plain. You know, if you, if, if that's a big thing to lay down your life for the brethren. So if you can't do something small, like be considerate, 
communicate with your brothers. Let the brother know what the hell is going on. If you got a, a, a quarrel with, with the brother, you know, any issue, man, you should be able to go to that brother and let him know, man. You know, any issue, man. You pull the brother to the side, you call him up, whatever it is. You got that long time with him. And I don't mean just, just blast him out in front of everybody and, hey, you, you know, you pull that brother to the side, man. You pull that brother to the side, you let him know, man. You know? Going back to being inconsiderate, man. Inconsiderate, get the word, the definition of being considerate, man. Back, just you want in, uh, from the top again, bro. So this is inconsiderate from dictionary. It says thoughtlessly caring, sorry, thoughtlessly causing hurt or inconvenience to others. Inconvenience or hurt to others. You don't even know that you hurt it. You go in and you go in and you go into your house all oh, nicely. You, you, you sleeping good, man. But you don't even know yet you hurt it, brother, man. You don't even know that you fucking hurt it, brother, man. You know? Wonder why you going through shit, man. Because you inconsiderate, man. You always thinking about yourself. You selfish, man. You know? Brothers, brothers, sometimes brothers need that talk, man. I pat on the back. Hey, brother, you, you good, huh? You know, sometimes you might have a brother say, nah, I'm good. But he, he really going through some shit. You know? I About this time, the brothers that I've been uh, going to camp with for years, man, I know their spirits. I know when they going through shit. Brother might tell me he ain't going through shit. Hey, brother. You know? I know. That's why you ask. That's why you be you you know, after you calm down, you you know, you let the brother know, hey, bro, yeah, I was going through this, I was, you know, yes, this shit was bothering me, I wait like, the water though for, you know what I'm saying, for, for checking on me, I, sometimes you, you really need that, man, we need that, man, we need it, we need it, man, that's the love, you know, that's the love, man, hey, brother, man, what the fuck are you, what the fuck are you doing, man, you know, you ain't got it all, man. You ain't got it all, man. You go to camp and you you can stand tall and, and you know what I'm saying? And feel good about yourself when you treat your brother like shit, man. That's a fucking nigga, man. You know? Go ahead on the uh cause uh, uh some uh some synonyms. It says uh thoughtless, unthinking, insensitive, selfish. Selfish. Selfish, man. You just care about yourself. If things ain't going your way, fuck it. Fuck that. We don't want to do what I want to do. Fuck that shit, man. I don't care about what this brother think or what he think or what he think. You didn't conversate with nobody to see what the hell's going on. See if anybody want to do what. You just, if I ain't doing what I'm doing, fuck it. You know, if I'm not going on the lesson that I want to go on, shit, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not doing no lesson with y'all. I want to do this. I want to do. You know, we ain't going to the place that I want to go. Fuck that shit. You know, it shouldn't be like that, man. You know, brothers, man, love your brother, man. Your brother is all you got in this room, man. Your brother, treat that brother like, like, like your shine, like you would treat your shine, man. Treat that brother like you would treat your shine and shit. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, man. You know, when you see your brother, salute that brother with a, a brotherly, some brotherly love. Back in the tools for the kiss. You know what I'm saying? It's a spiritual kiss, man. It's, it's you, you salute them, you blessing them, giving that blessing, man. You know, you show them that love, man. You know, and try to help that brother in anything, man. You know, in anything, man. I'm talking about brother, drop something. You you dare to pick it up for that brother. You know, 
the brother ain't got enough money for his meal. You there, you let him keep that money what he had, and you you make you keep you you purchase his meal, and if you got it, you slide him something, man. You slide him something, man. You know, brother ain't doing too good. He, he need a jacket, man. You give that brother a jacket, man. You know, whatever you. Give that brother, man. Cherry's showing, giving, giving physical, material shit. Attention, man. Maybe the brother needs some attention from you, man. He just wants your love. He's dying for your love, but you ignoring him, man. You don't even look his way when you don't even look at him in his eye when you talk to him. You know. You don't show that brother no love at all, man. It's like you separated from him. Go ahead, bro. He says, uh, not thinking or worrying about other people and their feelings. Look at that. Not thinking or worried about other people and their feelings, man. Just because we ain't the truth or we don't have feelings no more? We just some, we just some some robots on the street and shit. Yeah, I'm I'm from the the planet Zorg and no feelings. You know? What the fuck, man? You don't have no feelings now that you in the truth. What the fuck, man? We are very passionate men, very loving men. There's a hundred and forty-four thousand of us that's very loving, man. The most loving, kindest people on the planet, man. You know, and you can't show that love towards your own brother, man. What the fuck is you doing, man? You just a phony. You the you the you the nigga that need to get your ass whooped, man. You know, straight up, man. And it's not gonna be us to whoop your ass, man. It's gonna be Howard Shaw when he come back. He gonna beat your ass. Okay, he'll lie his belt and beat your ass, man. You know what that belt is, man? All the shit that's about to happen, man. Jacob's trouble. Concentration camps, famine. All right, that's him pulling out his belt and beating the fuck out of you, man. Ass is those missiles, man. All right. So you keep, you keep acting like a an inconsiderate ass nigga, man. And watch what the Lord do to you, man. You know, that's a weak, laid out ass spirit, man. Just a deep boned ass nigga. You know how you debone a fish? You know that motherfucker just floppy and shit? You just a debone, floppy, wicked ass nigga, man. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Now reconsider it. What's the definition for considering? It says, careful not to cause inconvenience. Careful. You gotta be careful with brothers, man. Not to cause inconvenience, man. You know? There shouldn't be no super sensitive ass brother. Every little thing you do, it's like, oh, man, what the fuck, man? You know? Better man the fuck up. It's a it's a it's a line, man. You know? You ain't supposed to be all soft and shit. You better man the fuck up. Every little thing your brother do and shit, you feel like he didn't he didn't screw you and shit. You know, you got a man to fuck up, up, man. Like I said, it's a line, man. You know, but it's it's shit that you do that to make that you could really fucking you could really fucking make the brother feel bad, man. Now he fasting and, and, and praying that he he didn't do nothing to you, man. You really made him feel like shit. Fucked up his whole fucking day, his whole week and shit. You know? Go ahead. It says, Careful or hurt to others. Some of the synonyms. It says, Attentive. Attentive. Thoughtful. Thoughtful. You gotta, man, attentive and thoughtful, man. Of another brother, man. You know? Not just blowing them off and shit. Brother might call you and shit, you just blowing them off and shit. 
you just blew him up. Well, you got the younger brothers watching you as well, man. You got young brothers watching you how you deal with other brothers, and they watching that. Believe that, man. And when you fucking do a brother wrong, don't think for once that that brother's not spiritual to know. Take a body language, something, man. You know? You got, you got a room for the brothers, right? Your brothers that you normally chill with. And you conversating with four of them, but the fifth one you just leave out. You don't look, you don't, you, you're not paying him no mind, no attention. You're not trying to conversate with that brother, nothing. You just, you just leave him out for some reason, man. You know? We know that brothers is gonna be close to certain brothers, man. You know? Family Father has his favorites, his favorites, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. You know? But that don't mean just because that's your favorite brother, you treat everybody else different from that favorite brother, man. You know? That don't mean treat everybody else lower then you treating this brother, man. You know? The fuck, man? That ain't cool, man. You know? Sometimes you might feel left out and shit like, damn, shit, fuck. You know, like. It's the feeling I had when I was in the world, man. You didn't feel wanted. You know? I don't want to feel like that in the truth, man. I don't want to feel like that, especially around brothers that supposed to, we supposed to, uh, supposed to lay down your life. You supposed to lay down your life for, man. You know? You got brothers, that, some brothers don't even conversate, man. You don't never hear nothing of these brothers. It's nothing. It's a couple words and that's fucking it. That's it. You know? And you don't hear nothing about their day unless you ask them. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know what? New brothers and all, man. I try to conversate with all brothers, man. Same if I was to, to the oldest brother, man. You know what I'm saying? The fuck? I'm better than you because I've been in. Fuck no, man. I'm not better than you, man. I'm not better than nobody, man. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to make it. <laughs>